Hello there, I'm David and welcome to another video. And this time around, we're taking a look at our Putney 60K size three Euro grade zero digital safe. So we are londonsafes.co.uk. Please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. And without further ado, let's have a look at the safe. So this is the size three Putney. The Putney comes in three sizes and this is the largest of the three. It's a Euro grade zero safe and I'll go into that um, in more detail shortly. But firstly, let's look at the dimensions. Um, this particular one is 450 millimeters high by 450 millimeters wide. And the depth, that's that bit there, is 400 millimetres. With regards to the depth, you do need to allow another 26 millimetres or so for the projection of the hinges to the depth. Just in case you're tight on space, that's a consideration. And this safe weighs in at 118 kilograms, so it's no lightweight, even though it's a small safe. The safe is operated with this digital electronic keypad that uses a six digit pin number. I'm gonna go ahead and open the safe now using the default code, um, which is one through six. It beeps every time you touch a digit and then I'm gonna press enter. We hear that little whiz, I don't know if you heard that. That means the solenoid's open. You have a limited time to turn that uh, handle um, and that handle actually turns the bolts. There's one of the bolts, I'll just turn it so you can see. That's the handle operating the bolt. You'd set your own unique pin number, six digit pin number, um, when you buy the safe, we'll show you how to do that. So I've just opened the safe up now, and here you can see those bolts that I re was referring to. And I've projected them out now by rotating the handle. So you've got one here, you've got your two down the side, and there's another one at the bottom. So you've got three plane locking. It's a very thick door with a uh, fireproof strip here, which expands should there be a fire to protect your contents. We'll go into that in a second. You've got your usual anti-drill mechanism and things like that, um, giving this the Euro grade rating. You don't have an emergency key on this safe, so you might be wondering what happens if the battery goes flat, because the battery's inside. I'll show you where that is in a second. Um, but you've got this little feature here on the keypad between the, uh, the handle and the actual keypad. You've got this minus and plus, and these protrude a little bit, and they line up with the plus and minus um, on a regular 9 volt battery and if the battery was to go completely flat you can then use this battery to press it against those terminals I can't do it now because I'm holding the camera in one hand and the battery in the other but you'd hold in one hand the battery then press it against there and while doing that enter your code open the safe in the normal way you still need to know your code you won't defeat the code by the battery going flat so you're in effect powering the electric circuit externally just until you get it open and then you change your battery over on the inside and as we're looking at the back of the safe door now as you can see that's the battery compartment um, it's just uh, held with a uh, retained with a small screw a posi drive screw swap over your nine volt battery and you're good to go they do last a long time these batteries sometimes years but we do recommend that you replace the battery to every 12 months, maybe on the anniversary of the purchase of the safe or change it on your birthday or the day before if you've got plans on your birthday, um, but just something annually to make sure you change it because you don't want batteries leaking. Modern alkaline batteries aren't supposed to leak, um, but sometimes they do, so uh, you know it's best to change it. We'll look at the inside of the safe here and the capacity shortly, but um, I did say I'd talk about this Euro grade rating. So on the back of the safe door, you remember there's the battery compartment, we've got these two plates. Um, and here you have your information and your important information here is the, the rating of the safe. And this is the test house certificate that they put a little metal plate on. And this is certified according to EN 1143-1, um, which is a European standard and this is resistance grade zero. And that means for insurance purposes, this safe is suitable for storing um, up to £6,000 in cash or up to £60,000 in valuables. When you have a safe like this that's certified and tested, um, sometimes with other safes you might need to check with your insurer. With these, this is an indisputable rating. Um, that's what that grade zero um, at EN1143-1 means uh, 6,000 cash or 60,000 valuables. Would only be if your risk was particularly different i.e. you had a history of burglaries or something that your insurance company might have something to say and they might want a larger, heavier safe. 
but uh, for all intents and purposes, that's the rating. Grade zero is 6,000 cash, 60,000 valuables. This safe, we also have this, uh, this other testing, which is your LFS light fire storage, 30p, 30 minutes protection for paper. So fire resistance is what we're talking about here. That's achieved through the mass of the safe, very large lined, concrete lined safe, steel, steel outer layer, steel inner with concrete infill. You've also got, as I mentioned, this uh, strip that expands in the event of a fire, heats up and seals the door against its frame here to protect your valuable. And clients often say to me, you know, 30 minutes, it doesn't seem like very long, but bear in mind that the testing is done in a furnace. So the safe is completely surrounded by fire. You know, so we go from zero um, to the required temperature, uh, whatever it is, I think it might be eight or 900 degrees, as I remember, Celsius. Um, and then it's exposed to that temperature for that length of time um, and then allowed to cool. And then they remove a piece of paper that was inside. And if they're able to read what's written on the paper, it's passed the test. So those circumstances are, are more extreme than perhaps a fire that might occur in your home. Let's hope no, no fire occurs at all. But if it does, the safe is not going to be surrounded by flames. You know, the back of the safe is going to be bolted against the wall. And ideally, and we'll talk about that in a second, the bottom of the safe is going to be bolted to a concrete floor. So these two things are cooling the safe. They're acting as a heat sink and dissipating the heat. So the safe might only be exposed to fire you know, from the front and the sides of the top rather than completely surrounded by fire. Um, ideally, placement of a safe like this is important for fire resistance as well. The lower you have it down in the property, you know, on the lower ground or sorry, ground floor, heat rises, flames rise. Again, you've got um, more chance of increasing the time that the, the survivability time of the contents in a fire. Um, so, yeah, I just want to make that point. So I guess I'll talk about the storage capacity again in a second and we'll just talk about that installation, uh, the ideal location. So you have fixing holes in the safe for us to bolt the safe to the fabric of your building. These are little cover plates that cover them, decorative cover plates. There's two in the base. Um, so the manufacturers are thinking everyone's got a concrete floor and we'll, you, you'll be bolting it to the floor. Not always the case, but that's the ideal concrete floor. And you've got one in the back there. Um, I don't know why they don't put two or three or four. If you look at my Bloomsbury video, which is a different safe, a different rating I know, you'll see that the Bloomsbury's got four in the base and four in the rear. I'll put a link to that now in the top right hand corner. So you can have a look at that. The more fixings, the better when it comes to safes because burglars do try to remove safes. But with this one, you've got the advantage of the, you know, quite considerable weight, 118 kilos. But anyway, so ideal world, concrete floor, we bolt the safe to the concrete floor using anchors, expanding anchors, and the back is bolted to a brick wall, um, you know, again, using expanding anchors. It's not always possible. So you might have a requirement for a safe, your insurance company want you to have a safe, or you just want to have it yourself. And you know, you've got the building that you've got, whatever surfaces you've got, plasterboard, uh, you know, uh, whatever flooring you've got, maybe not concrete, timber, we'll have to work around that when we're installing it. And we do install the safe, so I'll talk about that right at the end. Um, so we'll work with what you've got. We will issue a certificate for your insurance company stating that this is how the safe was fitted in your property. A method statement, if you like, of how, how the job was done. If they're the ones telling you to have the safe, well, it's not, it's not your fault you don't have the concrete floor or the brick wall to bolt it to. Um, but nonetheless, we'll provide the certificate that you can show to them. Okay, so the capacity um, internally, um, you've got a capacity of 34 litres of storage capacity. So they measure safes like fish tanks because uh, they're rectangular or square boxes, if you like, and uh, 34 litres of capacity, which is quite a bit. The internal dimensions are, we have an internal height of 365 millimetres, the width is 370 millimetres, and the depth is 260 millimetres. The safe comes with a single shelf um, that has got these three positions. So you can alter the position. I've got it set in the middle one at the moment. But you can remove the shelf completely or put it in any of those positions. So what can we fit in the safe? Well, let's start with uh, paper. This is a piece of A4 paper that I'll just set down on the shelf there. And as you can see, lots and lots of room. Here we have your luxury type watch box. Other brands are available. And as you can see, lots of room for those. I guess what I should say is if you're looking at um, 
uh, this safe going into a tight space like a cupboard or something is the door because the door's thick as I mentioned earlier on if you're trying to put something large into the safe with the door just that sort of parallel with the extreme right hand side of the of the box there um, something large might not be able to go in and out without pushing the door and I'm pushing it to and I think that's about 170 degrees or something like that to get full access so if it's a jewelry box or something you know going in you'd need to have the door but if you're restricted on space just bear in mind the chances are if the safe just about fits in the cupboard you're going to have a slightly limited by about 10 percent or something 15 percent um, access to the to the to the internals of the safe so i've taken the uh, shelf out now just so that i can demonstrate for folders so if you are storing folders that's the kind of i think full scat folder is that what you call that um, doesn't quite work you so see that's hitting so that's not going to fit so if you're planning on storing this type of folder not going to work um, regular A4 folder here that I've got as you can see that's not going to be a problem I can shut the safe no problem whatsoever with that in there we uh, have a number of accessories that you can um, buy at checkout you'll see them when you add it to your cart on our website um, and I'm going to cut to another piece that uh, that I filmed on another day, so it's going to seem out of sequence because this safe isn't actually here on the bench. But I'm going to cut to that now so that you can see what these accessories are. So uh, hopefully you're going to buy a safe from us and we're going to come and install it for you. So during the checkout process, if you are doing that, and thank you if you are, there's a number of accessories that you can purchase. Um, so the first one um, is a automatic light, battery operated, three AAA cells. Um, and it's got a little movement sensor and that pops onto the underside of the top of the safe and as you open the safe the light comes on illuminates the contents very useful for um, you know, dark cupboards or wardrobes things like that so you can see what's going on in there and then we have this which is a flame retardant wallet so you can put your a4 documents and bits and pieces in there to, for extra fire protection we have a carpet base if you want um, a uh, carpet in the bottom of your safe as you see they don't come with one if you want one then that's an optional extra um, this is a pair of um, Faraday pouches for putting car keys in um, cloning key cloning theft of cars is very very common now you put your keys in here and the people with the dodgy equipment can't pick up the signal in the house to, to, to take your car away and finally we have this um, a dehumidifier box um, which you can put inside the safe it's reusable you can dry it out on a radiator absorbs moisture and protects things from uh, condensation because you can get condensation form inside um, a big steel box like that also useful for keeping firearms dry as well um, and these are all recommended accessories for your safe that are available at checkout so uh, a quick word um, on our service so as I say we're London and home county safes and as you can see, we're rated uh, excellent on Trustpilot and Google and stuff like that. And with us, it's free delivery and free installation. Uh, it's a kind of a one size fits all approach to safe. So rather than like our competitors do, do subcontracting their safe installations to whoever they can find in your area, it's our own employees, sometimes even me, that comes and installs your safe. And it's free delivery, free installation on all bolted safes. And this is a bolted safe. Um, in this area that you see, and it's quite a big area, about a 90 mile radius from our headquarters, um, which is in Hertfordshire, Hatfield, Hertfordshire. And your safe will be delivered in an unmarked or possibly even a disguised van by a vetted employee. Your neighbors won't know what we're there to do. We could be doing anything, could be a boiler, who knows what it is. And our engineer will look at you, your property, look at the places that you've scoped out where you might want the safe to go give you the pros and cons of each and then let you make the final decision on the uh, installation location he'll then carefully install your safe clean up after himself demonstrate to you how to use the safe answer any questions that you've got and that will be the end if you have any questions at all please reach out we've got uh, a chat online chat on the website in fact i think we've got two different types of chat whatsapp uh, possibly whatsapp messenger and just a regular online chat or you can just give us a call there's the number and uh, we're on londonsafes.co.uk i'm gonna cut to a little link a little piece of uh, video that we paid a fortune for so you may as well see it thank you very much for watching
free delivery and free installation. Your safe will be delivered and professionally installed by one of our own vetted employees who will arrive in an unmarked vehicle. Get in touch online or call us on 0800 711 7892.